So my name is Yasmin Farr, and when I was at Food Studies, I was focusing mostly on food writing, and that was what I went into the program wanting to learn more about and what I wanted to do after as well. So right now I'm promoting my second book, so I'm also working on my third book that'll come out in 2024, so quite a bit of time. And then I'm also working on some freelance assignments. I kind of did a career change. In college, I was considering being pre-med and I worked at a hospital for a year after and I, you know, very quickly realized it's not what I wanted to do with my life. Well, what am I going to do with my life? Which is like a very scary prospect. I've always had like a deep love for food and for cooking and writing. And so I never thought that could actually be a career. And then when I found the NYU program, I was like, oh, wow, like it can be. And I can learn all these things about food and be around all these people who know so much. It was really nice to be able to find a community and to have these people I could learn under and work with. So I think while I was at the program, I just learned so much about food culture, history, policy, and I think just having more information makes me like a better cook and writer because I just draw on more information. And I think it gives you just a better perspective of how you know, our food systems work or how the like, cuisines and cultures have been shaped. Having that knowledge has really helped me a lot. I draw a lot like, on it. And all my bookshelves, like, there's an NYU section, so. I'm working on my third book and I hope to keep writing books because it's, it is a lot of work, but it's so rewarding. And, you know, having people make your recipes and send you photos or tell you how much they loved it. I mean, there's really not much more gratifying than that. Like that's what keeps me going, I would say. But I would like to move more into video. Like, I don't know if it's a TV show or something like that. So fingers crossed that, you know, that happens. Uh, but I think food is always changing, especially food media. So kind of being adaptable and seeing what works is also important too. Yeah.